Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Studio Gallery. And I have a diagonal. I have wet black and wet white paint. I don't want any edges to show. That's the Meaden Black. It covers in one, usually. I'm going to do a swipe. Go figure. <laughs> I can't be swipe obsessed, right? And I'm not sure what I'll put in here after a while, but I'm going to try my best to start. Oh, come on. With a simple color palette. But I guess I'm not using the copper I wanted to. And I'm not using something I haven't shaken up. The cobalt blue metallic from Artist Loft, which is very turquoise, is open, and it is. And what did I just want to grab? I want to clean that tip out, because I am definitely going to use some copper, and I'm probably going to use some silver, too. There's nothing in there. That's so weird. There is now. <laughs> I pushed it all toward the tip with my tweezers that are on the Amazon link. I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me a moment. This is going to take a second to extract the cone of paint that I have inadvertently. There we go. That'll work for now. I think the turquoise is going to make it. There may come some purple. That effect, I'm almost sure of it. The question is, which color purple? Well, I guess it could be that one. Yeah, I like that. Now I've got some Amsterdam black. I wonder how this would look in there. That is an Arteza electric blue. And I suppose if I want more, I can add it. I've got a nice little card here that I cut off packaging. It has a little edge that I kept, makes a nice handle. I want to switch that around and I have a break on my turntable finally so I like to swipe away from myself lately and I have a scrape dish I've been using one scrape, one swipe card to scrape off another one because it's easier than trying to scrape it off in the scrape dish. I'm going to go ahead and look at this for a moment because I'm not feeling it. And I think what I want is right there. We'll see how that works. Now I just, I did just grab the Amsterdam white. And I suppose in the end, really, if I need another color still, there's nothing to keep me from adding it. And that other color still. Yes. Might be some orange. Go back to the black. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just, yeah. Go back to the black. I want some more purple. There's no doubt about it. And so much so that I'm really contemplating breaking my rules about the simple color palette. Yes, that's the one. 
right there. That's the color shifting purple from folk art. And I'm definitely contemplating smaller cards also and lots more of that. I like the purple a lot. I think purple is going to save the day, in fact. I do like dragging the card through. It's time to grab a smaller card. something attached to it, unfortunately. I have smaller cards still. And that, that purple makes it for me. But you already knew that about me anyway. Doesn't come as a surprise to anyone, I'm sure. Oh, I like that white right there. I'm surprised. I'm going to do that again. It's a little rough because this card has some texture on it from some dried paint. I do like dragging the card through to add some lines. I'm not adverse to stealing some paint either. This is turning out to be pretty nice. I don't think it really matters for me what I start with, so long as I continue and add things I want to see in there. objects that do not belong. I am going to cut a smaller card because that one is not really making me happy. Okay, so what goes here? I didn't use any hot orchids so I don't need to worry about that right now. I might want a double card. Swipe. Definitely want some white there. It's almost time to put my experience to the test and try and use these in some sort of very surreal style scape. I think a little more gold in there is what that's telling me. I see some gold cells breaking through. It 
helps if I'm using the, the correct black, and I'm not sure I have been. Wow. The meat and black makes cells too, so I shouldn't have left them near each other. Kind of want, oh, I love those. This is working. I'm liking this. I want black. Why do I want black? This is the black side. I shouldn't want black on this side. I saw that thing just fall. Come here, thing. And I want a little bit of white. A little bit of Anita's white. Metallic. Well, I'm not sure the diagonal had any purpose <laughs> that I could discern at this point. But I'm still enjoying my design, so I'm not complaining. I will be touching up my edges. I definitely want to try some of this red. Along with a little bit of white metallic over here. A little more turquoise. A whole bunch of that. Sure, I use the Amsterdam black this time. I'm going to grab my other card back. I want some paint to go over my edge. And this is my last pass, I guess. That red didn't seem to hurt anything. Maybe I'll put some more in here. And I don't see any gold left on this side. I never did put the silver in, did I? Nope. I want to do an experiment with the black. That kind of worked. It's neat. And the white. I 
I've got a phone call I have to go make. So I'm going to call this good right after I torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. And pick up any little bit of black I have in my dish. And use it on my card to add some texture in a couple places if I want to. I might have some edges to cover. Not too many though. Pretty well done for the most part. Not bad at all. All right. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'm reminding you I have over 2,000 videos and if you want to link to anything, I'm your girl. I know where they all are buried. Hidden. <laughs> that is a thing that does not belong. And I'm definitely liking this. I learn something new every time I do one of these. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for all the donations that help keep me painting all this time. You are pretty much the only thing keeping me here, for sure, for sure. So just know that if you are somebody who has not made a donation and you would like to, you also are become automatically entered in the monthly drawing. And you can see the prizes for the monthly drawing included at the beginning of the exhibition video I change out every month that I post under the end screen in the last 20 seconds. Probably could have used a little more negative space. I've got two minutes to tell you guys that I love you. And uh, <laughs> please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for all the kind words and the compliments that keep my morale boosted. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I know. Negative space and then I get rid of it. Sometimes the little pokey pieces of canvas bug, bug me and, uh, and I forget that I've already primed them white so it's not really a problem. But it just keeps happening anyway. Alright, I'm going to try and zoom in so you guys can see some of this. Wonderful. Some of these wonderful cells. Yeah, that's pretty from up here. It's not too bad from down here either. So I have a link tree. It's a blue link. It's the first blue link under the video. And on my link tree you can find my Amazon link, my Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my Facebook groups. The very top link is Legalorist, which is exclusive investment clothing from Montreal. Dresses and the like. Beautiful stuff all over prints. Some of my favorite prints are included there. Any shopping you do helps me out, helps me keep making videos, so I appreciate that. That includes the Amazon link. Is at no added cost to you, and it helps me out, and I really appreciate that. My two books are there, Volumes 1 and 2 are Because I Can, and Unlimited Possibilities. If you are looking for my email address, it does exist under Show More. When you click Show More under the link tree, you'll find my email address, and you can contact me there in regard to um, information about the purchase of an artwork or taking a class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida with me in the studio. If you watch the videos longer, you help the algorithm know that you'll find me valuable and helps keep my channel alive. Uh, my paint pouring recipe and my cell activator recipe are both under show more. If you read down about halfway, I mean, it's, it's a lot of words, but you can find it. I promise you it's there. If you have questions and you can't find help underneath the video, you can always ask me. I love you guys. I think there's a minute left, but I don't think it matters. Um, spring clothing, all over print leg leggings and t-shirts right underneath the video. And if you click anything there, it'll bring you to my store. My community board will have tomorrow's video on it, as well as Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, the Facebook group for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors has albums of the older YouTube artworks. Someday I might catch up. <laughs> yeah, right. And um, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more will take you to pixels.com and find out america via the shop now button i love you guys take care of each other take care of yourselves bye for now this is priscilla batsell in spring hill florida at expressionist art studio gallery i gotta break out of these colors they're great colors yeah that little spot's gotta go <laughs> bye see you soon see you and on